Welcome to Maths Made Easy. Today we are going to solve a cubic e equation x cubed plus x is equal to 350. Since it is x cubed, we can say that the degree of the equation is 3, meaning to say that it can have up to 3 roots, 3 different solutions. Before we proceed, I request all the viewers to subscribe this YouTube channel because this keeps me motivated. Thank you. Let's get started. x cube plus x is equal to 350. Okay, what I am going to do is, I will transfer this 350 to the left hand side. And then we will see what we can do. First let's do this one. x cube plus x is equal to 350 can be written as x cube plus x minus 350 is equal to 0. Okay, so it's done here. Now, when I see this one, and I'd like everybody to develop this skill, this number is close to perfect cube. This is going to be my a cube, and I will split this number in two parts. One of them is going to be the perfect cube, which I will associate with this, which I will write with this. So the perfect cube is what I can see in close to 350 is 343 and the other part will be 7. So the, I can write 350 in this way minus 343 and minus 7 which will give me minus 350. Now after rearranging I can collect this term and this term together x cube minus 343 plus x minus 7 is equal to 0 here yeah. now what I can do is I can write x cube minus 7 the whole cube this 343 can be written as 343 343 can be written as cube of 7 plus x minus 7 is equal to 0 Now, if you see this part, we can apply the formula of a cube minus b cube. That is a minus b in the bracket a square plus b square plus a b. You can also write it as a square plus a b plus b square. It's both, both are same. So, x cube minus 7 cube is this part. x plus 7 is here directly. Now, if you will see this entire expression, this is one term and this is one term. I can take x minus 7 common from both the terms. So, I will be having x minus 7 out of my bracket. In the bracket, x square plus 7x plus 49 and in place of x minus 1 now I have plus 1 49 plus 1 will become 50 as you see now what it means x minus 7 can be 0 or x square plus 7x plus 50 can be 0 both of them are 0 both uh, this whole is equal to 0 and this whole is equal to 0 like here from the first part I can say that x is equal to 7 one of the root is already found x is equal to 7 remaining two roots I can find from here and this seems this looks like a quadratic equation so you can try either way and let's go with x is equal to minus b plus minus root of a square minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a now for this expression we need the value of a b and c let's find it 
from as you can see here the coefficient of x square is 1 so the value of a is 1 coefficient of b is a uh, coefficient of x that is 7 so the value of b is equal to 7 and the constant term is 50 so the value of c is 5 0 50 Now let's sub substitute the value of ABC over here. X is equal to minus 7 plus minus root of 7 square minus 4 times 1 times 50 upon 2 times 1. So 7 square is 49 minus five, 4, five, 4 times 5 that is 2200. So this is 200. Inside the root we are going to get a negative number. Either you can stop your work here by saying that this quadratic equation has no real roots so the only solution to this cubic expression is x is equal to 7 because the numbers because the the roots that you are going to get by solving this part is not a real root it's an imaginary root it's an imaginary solution for this expression and we needs a real solution but let's do it see 49 minus 200 minus 150 51 you can write it as 151 times minus 1. Now inside the root, minus 1 inside the root is always written as i. So the, the value of x what we got is minus 7 plus root of 151i by 2. And the other one is x is equal to minus 7 minus root of 151i upon 2. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in next one.